many working professionals and students ask me that how to uh, get rid of the bullet points uh, generally I don't like to use uh, bullet points in the presentations and it is not recommended and unless and until it is uh, you're going to create the presentations very fast and you don't have time then yes okay you can add some bullet points and present it but generally uh, avoid using bullet points now I'm just going to show you this slide. This slide says there's six steps on student success and it gives you some steps and it kind of uh, all bullet points only. Now I'm going to show you how I have converted this particular slide to a more meaningful one and more uh, a creative one. So you can see here the first of all this is all about this slide is about the students. So the moment uh, when I heard the word student so it comes to my mind like books and all those things. So I thought of why can't I create uh, something on a book. So my slide looks something like this. I have created a book and when I click on it will show me the first step creative. Then it shows me the second step that which is information. The third step is the research. Fourth is examination. Fifth is graduate and sixth is success so you can see here i have converted the simple slide from the bullet points to the slide something like this and the same slide i have done just in a more simplest way so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to view Enable the guides, go to insert, shapes and select a rectangle. Draw a rectangle from the center of the slide and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, select white color and I'm going to give the height as 5.85 and width as 4. So just bring it in the middle and press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring the other side of the slide so you can see here i have created two uh, rectangles now i'm going to select the left rectangle right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under effects you have got a 3d rotation and a 3d format so go to 3d rotation first and select preset and i'm going to select which is the perspective right so it comes like this and then go to 3d format and increase the depth so i can increase the depth according to my requirement how deep you need the book size so let me just put maybe I think yeah 112 and then I'm going to lighting select the second one which is special two point and material let it be the warm matte finish now I'm doing going to do the same thing for this particular again go here 3d rotation now instead of selecting a perspective right I'm going to select perspective left and then go back on the top and increase the depth which I have given 112 and here I'm just going to change the lighting effect let me just select which is a balance and let it be this one but anyway you cannot see here because i'm just going to add some more thing on the background or the book cover heart cover and just bring this together and uh, for the meantime let me just uh, switch off the guides so that i know whether it has been properly yes so you can see here the pages are ready now i'm just going to add the hard cover of this i'm going to select this press ctrl 
D to duplicate it and I'm going to give some different color some dark color and then I'm going to reduce the depth maybe only to 10 points or rather 15 points you can see here and I'm just going to increase the size you can see here let me just increase further and go to format and just say send to back so you can see here the book cover here and the same thing I'm just going to do it for this one press ctrl D to duplicate this and then go to effects under presets I'm just going to select this one which is left so I got this one let me just add this side and send to back so you can see here the book design is ready now so let me just add some more features and then add the text to it to give more realistic or feeling of the book I'm just going to give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select a gradient fill for example here the already is there so here first of all it was i'm going to select a black color here and here i'm going to select a white color and then for the white color the transparency level i'm going to make it fully 100 percent and you have to make sure that you are set it the type linear and the direction is from the linear right and then I'm going to select the black color and increase the transparency effect so you can see here it comes something like this and again bring in the center press ctrl D sorry press ctrl D and rotate it to flip horizontal and paste it here so you can see here it go it gives you the more realistic effect of the book so just make sure that this is touching the edges otherwise it won't look good so now it's time to add some text and the options now let me just add the options or the steps go to insert shapes select a rectangle and draw a rectangle maybe this much size and put it here and color you can just select the color of your choice let me just select this color shape outline make it no outline and again to give the feeling that this is coming out from the book so i'm going to select this one go to effects under shadow presets and i'm going to select with this inner let me just select this one inside left so you can see here it gives a feeling that it comes from inside the book or the pages and then I'm just going to add the text or the title which you can change it later on and give some good font make it bold and white color I'm going to use it and press ctrl D the text and this side I'm just going to say 0 1 step reduce the size maybe you can write aligned and select this one so now using the malls I'm just going to hover around this shape and press ctrl G to group it and ctrl D to duplicate it so this is for the second option third fourth fifth sixth so I'm going to add six options and then I'm going to just change the numbers
and then based on your requirement you can just select any nice colors to it so i'm just going to select the background and give some nice colors and don't give some colors which will the font will not be visible so give some contrasting colors so you can see here i have added now and to make sure that this is in the center let me just make it upwards so you can see here i have added the options the next thing is i'm going to add the detailed text so go to insert text box and i'm just going to type step 01 or 01 step or whatever which you like century gothic make it bold reduce the size if required and the color i'm going to use the same color which is the pink here and i'm going to put it here and then go to insert text box and add your detail text here again i'm going to select century gothic or any font of your choice you can use it maybe i'll use 11 points and if required you can add some icons by going to insert and you can just go to icons and select the icons there or you can just go to this particular website called let me just put it for you www the the noun project.com the noun project.com is a website where you can download your icons so here the noun project.com so let me just repeat it www dot the noun project.com so you can download your icons from there right now I'm not going to add the icons let me just uh, control G this one control D to duplicate it this will be the step 2 this will be the step 3 let me just bring it down and then control D this will be the step 4 step 5 and step six now it's time to just go and change the numbers as well as the font depending on the color you have selected so this will be the step three and again this one will be blue like this so you can just change it the other one now let's add some animations to it before adding the animation let me just uh, close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane select the first title or the step one then go to add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to select the animation stretch click ok and effect option say from left so it looks like that this option comes out from the middle of the pages and then i'm going to select this particular text and again i'm going to use the same animation go to more entrance effects stretch click ok and this is also from left and this should happen after previous of this or you can put it with previous also so if i play it comes like this or if you want with previous so it both will come together so whichever way you feel comfortable you can use it so i'm just going to use the animation painter to copy the animations to the other so i'm going to select this click on animation painter select this and then animation painter select this likewise i'm going to select the third one now and from here i'm going to select the third step then here animation painter the fourth step and this to this and then i'll select this click on step five and 
this will go to step 5 and the last I'll animation painter click on 6th and animation painter click here so let me just play in the slideshow when I click it will show me the title then step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 and step 6 so it's just uh, you need to change these numbers and then you can see here there's some gap in the background so you can just reduce the bring it together so that the it will not see any uh, this one That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.